Hey guys and girls, it's Shannon and today I'm going to be showing you my when I wear makeup routine. I don't wear a makeup every day due to work, uh, but when I do wear it, this is typically what I do. So let's get into this. So we're starting off with primer. And today I'm going to be using the MUA Wonder Vanishing Cream Primer. This primer makes my skin feel velvety and smooth. It smooths out any fine lines that I have on my forehead or my smile lines. Uh, I'm a very expressive person, so these lines are very emphasized. <laughs> um, I also feel like this primer gives it a good, it gives the foundation a good base to be built upon. Uh, I notice in a minute that I've still got my nose stud in and I take that out and it's missing in the next clip. Um, so, uh, you guys should let me know what your favourite primers are because I haven't tried a lot. Uh, I think I've tried two primers. So, let me know what your favourite primers are and I'll see if I can get hold of them and try them. So now we're moving on to colour correcting and I'm going to be using the Revolution Camouflage Corrector Palette. Uh, I love this palette because of the variety of shades that are in there and uh, I have quite a bit of redness on my cheeks and dark circles under my eyes. So I use green colour on my cheeks, chin and my nose because I have a spot on my nose currently and I use a mixture of the beige colour and the salmon colour under my eyes to cancel out those dark circles that have formed from not sleeping. So here's me showing you the two colours I mix together to cancel out the circles under my eyes. And clearly not used to this filming thing yet. <laughs> Follow the reflection of the mirror. <laughs> so we're blending and we skipped. Okay, so now I have green dot on my nose because of that red mark that's on my nose. Um, and just blending green away from my face. See, no stud is now missing. I realized I still had it in. Um, <laughs> okay, so I am now the Grinch. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. I shouldn't, but I do. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to foundation. And in this instance, I'm using the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in O2 Soft Beige. Uh, this is a light to medium coverage foundation and it's a dewy finish. Uh, this foundation goes on quite heavy for me but then I go over with my sponge again and it thins out quite a bit. So now we're doing concealer and I'm going to be using the Conceal and Define Concealer from Revolution in the shade C1 because uh, I am a pale girl. Uh, and I just make like a triangle under my eye and that helps. I also bring it up into the inner corner a bit because I have quite a dark mark in my inner corners. Um, and uh, this concealer is really good for that. I've heard people compare this to the shape tape but honestly I've never tried the shape tape so I can't draw any conclusions about that. As well as uh, the sponge I'm using. I'm using a Revolution, not revolution. I'm using a Real Techniques sponge, uh, but I've never used the Beauty Blender. People have said this is pretty close, but I personally wouldn't know. And I'm making faces while I'm blending, and apparently I like going cross-eyed. So now I'm moving on to setting powder, and I'm actually gonna be using a setting powder from Poundland. <laughs> Uh, I love this powder and honestly for a pound you can't complain as you can see I've hit pan on it um, So I just use the shade translucent and it's blue uh, It's bluish. It's bruche. Uh I use this brush and just dust it all over the face So now I'm going to go on to powder contour. I occasionally use cream contour hence the differentiation uh, So I'm using the revolution ultra contour palette uh, I like this palette. It's got a couple of blush shades, a, high, a couple of highlighter, a couple of contour, and a nice bronzy shade for me because I'm so pale. Uh, I just use a really thin brush. Uh, well, not really thin. It's like a flat brush. And I just use that to put the contour in. Uh, in reality, this honestly did not look as harsh as it's coming on camera. <laughs> uh, 
as I realise now. Um, I really enjoy this contour, I find it very easy to blend it out and I'm pretty new to contour, I've never really done it before. So this is a pretty good contour for beginners I'd say, although if you're a beginner you really don't want to be doing contour. I found it quite difficult until my sister showed me how to do it. And I still find it quite difficult, apparently. <laughs> there we're blending, and again, with my terrible filming skills, dropping out under the camera shot. So I'm just using my sponge that I used for my foundation just to tone it down slightly so it's not as harsh, because uh, I realized I'd used too much powder. checking in the mirror uh, I haven't got a proper freestanding mirror I've just got a little like uh, almost like a shaving mirror uh, so I'm just using that uh, I'm listening to music while I'm doing this so if, uh, if I'm if it looks like I'm saying things and uh, pulling weird faces that's why so now we're just gonna contour down the nose uh, I've been told I have quite a small nose, hence why I have a nose piercing, but I always find I have like this bulbous point on my nose, so I try and contour that out. Bulbous point, is that the right word? Probably. Probably not. Hey, that's what I call it, so why not? So I just use a pencil brush to put the contour on and then just a fluffy brush to blend it out. And I find that works quite well for me. Again, it doesn't come across as harsh in reality as it is on camera. Don't know why. Anyone else noticing how my headband has blended into my hair? <laughs> Put the brushes away. Right, so now we're going to do bronzer. That sounded weird because I can't roll my R's. So I'm going to be using the MUA Bronze Perfection Matte Bronzer. This is actually the only bronzer I own and the only one I use. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for bronzers I could use, leave them in the comments down below because I'd love to know what other, what other, <laughs> I can't speak today, what other bronzers I could use. So I just used this big fluffy brush that I actually got from Wilkinson's. Uh, I don't know if they're worldwide, but I know they're in the UK for definite. Um, and I'm pretty sure I paid like four pound for it. And this brush is amazing. <laughs> Um, I'm just patting off the excess onto the desk that's in front of me <laughs> and blending it into my skin. My hair, as usual, is getting in the way. <laughs> Nothing new there. I have a lot of baby hairs around my forehead so they just kind of get in the way when I'm bronzing. I do realise this and I do try to fix it but it never quite works out right. Again, bronzing is something I never really did. I mean, when I was younger, it was literally like foundation, blush, and one color of eyeshadow, because I never knew what to do. <laughs> um, but then my sister got into makeup and she started showing me how to do things. And then I got into makeup. Oh, there we go, trying to fix it. Blendy, blendy, blend. Oh yeah, out of camera shot again. Well done, Shannon. <laughs> so powder highlighter uh what one am i using i forget so it's the i heart revolution what used to be the i heart makeup goddess of love highlighter i like this highlighter it's a nice subtle highlight uh it's a kind of champagne-y kind of color which i feel like works really well with my skin tone um I got these brushes just off eBay for a pack, a pack of like five, I think. They're really nice and they're really, this particular one's actually really good for highlight. Uh, so I'm just putting that on the high points of my cheeks. Just seeing if it's glowing and it clearly is. Just leveling out the glue. I don't know why, whenever I do makeup it makes my eyes really red and now I'm being weird. And once again, listening to music. <laughs> so, 
Now we're doing blush, a little bit of blush. Uh, so I'm using the MUA blushed matte powder today. Uh, I quite, I've only recently got this and I quite enjoy it. Um, it blends out really easily and it's a very pretty blush. It suits my complexion very, very well. Um, plus it looks like a rose in pan, uh, which is quite, you know, it, it works because my little sister's name is Rose. So that looks so harsh on camera, but I promise you it is not that harsh in reality. Um, it's actually quite a nice subtle blush in reality. It doesn't look that harsh. Uh, as you can tell, I keep my brush pots to one side of me. Um, that's where I'm putting my brushes. Now I'm like, what am I doing? So now we're moving on to my eyeshadow. Today I'm using the Revolution Reloaded Basic Mattes Palette. Uh, again, I only recently got this, but it is actually a very, very good palette for mattes. Uh, they all blend really well, they work really, really well together, and I was able to create a nice, simple, everyday look with them. So I'm just going in with the lightest shade in the palette, and just dusting it all over my lids up to my brow. Um, again, I'm, I'm pretty new to eyeshadow, but I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit dusty. Now I'm going to go into this shade and just deepen up that crease a bit. So I like to look, see, look, I even had a cold in this video. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I like to look down when I'm doing this because I have hooded lids, I think. I think I have hooded lids, I don't know. Um, so I like to look down so I know exactly where my crease is. And I use windshield wiper motions, mainly focusing on that outer corner to make my eyes look wider. Uh, blending like this always makes my eyes go funny, hence the weird face every now and then. Apparently I felt the need to, uh, you know, show you everything. So we're just going to keep deepening up that crease until we, I'm happy with the outcome. Um, one thing I can't do is like wink with both eyes. It's like one eye or uh, that's it. I can only wink with one. So I can't actually do wink right now. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this slightly darker shade on a... Uh, more compact brush. I love this uh, brush. I can't speak today. I love this brush uh, because it's really, really good for getting into that crease. I just hit the microphone. I'm sorry. Um, I'm in a really weird mood, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I like to use this brush to blend out my crease with the darker shades. Again, does really weird things to my eyes. Um, so we're just gonna go blend, 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 blend. Even though I don't blend that fast. Um, if there's any uh, palettes that you think I should try and create a look with or do a review on or any makeup for that matter, um, just bear in mind I do live in the UK so I'm quite restricted on some things I can get. Um, I also don't have the biggest of budgets so I don't, hence why I don't like use tape, shape tape or beauty blenders or anything like that. I'm like, oh yeah, I use Revolution and MUA and things like this. Itchy neck. Um, so we're just going to check it in the mirror. Did you see that glow? Boom, that glow is popping. <laughs> oh, I'm so weird. So we're just going to keep deepening up the crease, um, just to really emphasise my the shape of my eye to try and make it look like it's not as hooded as it is. Ba 
flash it up on the mirror. So I darken up the outer corner quite a bit um, to make my eyes look wider and more open. Now I'm just going in with a clean brush and blending, blah, 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 blending, blending out all those hearts. Ha oh my god, I have swallowed my tongue. Right, blending out all those harsh edges. Oh my god. So we're just blending it out so it's nice and seamless and looks effortless when in reality this took ages <laughs> because oh hello I think I, I think I heard myself from the past and I was like hmm <laughs> I do pull some weird faces while I'm doing makeup and I realize this now Uh, if anyone's wondering what's in my background, it's a whole range of motivational quotes that I found on Pinterest. Um, I'm into being positive. I like to try and be positive and bring positivity into my life and other people's lives. So that's what that is. That way, and uh, this that door is directly in front of my front door. So anytime anyone walks in, that's what that's the first thing they see. <laughs> so it's nice and positive. Amazing, it's great, it's just great. Uh, so now I'm going in with this colour into my inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit and once again widen my eyes. So this is one of those uh, jewel ended flexi brushes from Revolution. I actually got this free. Um, because I spent a certain amount on Revolution and they sent a like packet of free stuff. Uh, it was an offer they had on at the time. Okay, so I'm going back in with my highlighter and just putting that right in the inner corner just to brighten that right up. Because once again, like I said, I've got darkness there. So now we're going on to brows. Do you like my little paw prints? So I'm using the MUA Pro Brow Kit and all I do is I mix the three colours in there together and I brush that through my brows with just the brow brush. So first I spoolie the, my brows into place and then I just brush it all through with the brow brush and then I actually use the spoolie to go into the wax and then brush that through my brows. I don't know why I just got into the habit of doing it and I feel like if it's work you know if it works don't change it yeah you know so if it, if it, if it works for you but people say it's wrong just if it works just do it don't worry many people tell me I'm wrong about this but hey it works for me so I just like to try and do little brush strokes to try and resemble brow hairs as much as possible because as you can tell I have very very sparse brows um, but because of how sparse my brows are it's quite difficult to fill them in properly without making them look fake so sometimes I just like lean into the skin and just go full on full brow thick hairy caterpillar brows not really but <laughs> actually I've done that by accident before <laughs> So that is one brow almost complete. Just sorting out some sparseness up in the corner there. Um, and here we go with the wax. Sorry about, I, I use my phone as my camera. Um, and it keeps trying to focus on different things, hence why it's going in that focus. Um, so this is just a closer version of what I just did on my other brow. Uh, I can never match my eyebrows. They always, you, I know your eyebrows aren't supposed to be twins, they're supposed to be sisters, but mine end up more like cousins. <laughs> so let's see how this goes, huh? Um, I mean, I know I filmed it, but I filmed it a couple of days ago. 
been trying to do the voiceover, but I've been so busy with work. Yes, before you ask, I do pat off my brow brush because, let's face it, if I put loads in one spot, I'd never be able to blend it out and save my life. Um, as I've mentioned, my sister is actually the one that showed me a lot of what I know about makeup. So, if you would like to see some videos with of me with her, uh, leave your video suggestions in the comments, and I'll convince her to come on my channel and do some videos with me. So we're just brushing the brows through with the wax again. See, cousins, not sisters. Don't want to go this pop. Okay. This is when I'm realising they don't match. <laughs> Trying to think of what I'm doing next. Ba, 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 da, ba. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face because I don't like doing it after I've got mascara and things on, just because I feel like it might run the mascara. So I'm using the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. I don't remember what it was called, even though it just popped up on my screen. So I just fan it uh, just to help set it so it doesn't create any weird divots in my foundation. Okay, so we're going to put the fan back in the pencil pot. And what am I doing? Okay, so we're doing lips. Who likes my awesome paper? Um. <laughs> So I'm just using a uh, Sleek Matte Me Liquid Lipstick in Shabby Chic. This is actually the miniature version. Um, and we're going to use a PS Lip Pencil in Desert Sand. Me talking is me telling myself what the shade is. <laughs> and here we go with the weird faces. Lovely. Don't we just love weird faces? I love pulling weird faces when I'm doing things. If I pull, put my head in certain positions, it makes it look like that, you know, I don't have any hair on top of my head. <laughs> and it's all just like at the back of my head and around my head. So once again, this is the only mirror I have, so I'm trying my best with it. Uh, I hope to get a bigger mirror soon, so I won't have to keep picking it up and putting it down and stuff like this. So I'm just outlining my lips and then I fill them in as well, just because I, f I feel like that helps with the lipstick a bit better. Um, but it might not necessarily help with anything. Clean up before I go in with lipstick. Okay, so here we go with the lipstick. alien face uh, this lipstick is very nice but while it's drying down it's very very sticky um, but once it's dried down it's absolutely fine it's not sticky at all um, and it's pretty long wearing I was able to eat with this on and it was still there by the time I finished and it's not like I had anything clean I was eating pizza okay so 
I'm just going to put on some Barry M feature length mascara. I love this mascara. Um, I've been using it for a while. And I feel like it just makes my lashes look all long and voluminous and very, very black. So the way I do it is I actually just leave the mascara wand where it is and then I just blink onto it. I'm so scared of poking myself in the eye. Because <laughs> uh, I've done that before. It hurts. <laughs> Don't ever do that. I'm kind of silly and I like... Apparently I like making cross eyes. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, now, now we're gonna flatter the eyelashes so that we can get a nice feathered look of the eyelash. No, I'm kidding. That's not what it does, it's just me. Okay, so we're done with the mascara now, I think. Oh, doesn't want to go in the pot. So now I'm just going to smoke out a mixture of the three brownie ready shades that I had on my eyelid under my eye just to bring the look together. And that's it, we're finished. Okay guys, so that is it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you enjoy me and like my content, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so that you get notified every time I upload. I upload Monday through Friday and I will see you all through the screen. Bye guys!